So HJC has launched two new helmets for 2024 and I'm gonna take you through them both today. Firstly, I'm gonna say that both of these are updates on existing models. I'll put a link down below so you can go and check these out, but also you can grab yourself some really good bargains on the models that have already been out, if that's kind of what you are looking for. But I'll take you through the brand new models, starting with the Ibex 3.0. <clears throat> So as I said, this is an update on an existing model. There are some slight key changes uh, and one very important change, or a couple of very important changes, but first and foremost, from a styling perspective, there is a slight change to this, which is like this little roll at the front, um, which I think changes this style of it. And once again, the, the one of the nicest things I think about the Ebex has always been the back of the helmet. I think that looks very nice. So it's still got that very streamlined design to it. So I think it looks great. This is the top of the line HJC product or the top of line helmet that they have. 260 grams, 18 vents in the helmet, which are obviously for airflow. And I'll get into some of the key features in a sec. Firstly though, this is a carbon reinforced front end of the helmet. So it effectively helps kind of distribute the force if you take a front on impact, kind of will hopefully push that force around the side. There are some very key features in, in this which are basically designed entirely to help you survive uh, if you actually do need to use this or you end up using this in an emergency situation. So the two key features that are brand new to the Ibex Three that are not available on the uh, current model, the Ibex 2. First and foremost, they have redesigned the holes for your sunglasses. So the original uh, or the Ibex 2 kind of doesn't quite have the same design when it comes to the sunglass holds. So they've completely redesigned that so that it fits in better. And there's actually little rubber things in there that kind of help you keep your sunglasses in your helmet so a bit more sturdy. So that's like one of the key things from an aesthetic point of view. They've redesigned the helmet to make sure that they can incorporate uh, the sunglasses. <clears throat> the second key feature that I think is absolutely brilliant, um, and I'm not really sure where they go from this now because it feels like a very perfect system. HJC are known for what's called like the snap fit system. So ultimately it's uh, almost like elasticated on the back of your head. So you can put the helmet on and it just kind of fits up snugly to the back of your head. Now, if you were kind of like in between sizes, then it could cause a bit of an issue, but they have solved that by putting little kind of snap adjustment on that snap fit. So you can now just have these little micro adjustments when you are readjusting your helmet to fit your head, which I think is probably about as good as you were gonna get in terms of having a helmet that fits, because it will snap in, and then if you need to micro adjust it, you can do so each time. One thing I'm gonna show you is how you can adjust this helmet, because when I first got an HJC helmet, it was one of the things that kind of, I didn't quite, it took me a while to figure out because they have like their own proprietary technology, if you will, when it comes to adjusting like their helmets. So like I said, they have this snap fit system. And what you can do is readjust that. And also that obviously um, kind of comes up and down. I've got the uh, cardboard in here still, but that should, there we go, adjust up and down kind of in and out so that you can like readjust where that sits on the back of your head. But also you are basically able to move this. <clears throat> this is quite hard to see. You are able to move that system incrementally backwards and forwards. So as long as the helmet fits your head, you can then adjust the snap fit uh, on this part of the system here, just you, that pulls out and then you push it back in. So that's how you initially adjust the snap fit. And then you also have this micro adjuster, which I think is super handy because there is no reason for this not to fit. It's got some of the key features that you would expect from an HJC helmet. It's got the slid, uh, which is the sliding impact protection. Ultimately, what that means is, is that hopefully there is some movement in the helmet on impact that dissipates some of the energy, that immediate energy from going straight into your head. So this is this little SID. It also has what they call the ionic kind of uh, protection system around here, which is the way that that fits onto your head, these little pads around the front. 
uh, and the side, that's called the Ionic system. And you also have the airflow system where in the bottom of the helmet, you can see it keeps it, you know, this little thing is designed so that it keeps uh, a, the helmet itself away from actually sitting on your head. So that is gonna improve the airflow and keep you nice and cool. Like I said, 260 grams for a size medium, which is what this is, available in seven different colors. And again, guys, go and, go and check it out on the link below. Carbon fiber reinforced at the front, little rubber tabs to make sure your sunglasses don't come out and also like redesign so that your sunglasses actually fit in it properly um, and 18 vents over the top. I think that is the complete rundown on the Ibex 3, which is the top of the line helmet. And you can see from the design, uh, I think it, like the styling of it is obviously very nice. And as always, like one of my favorite things is just the, the styling on the back of the helmet. I think that looks very cool. So at the other end of the scale, when it comes to helmets and HJC, we have the Valco 2.0. So this is more of an entry level helmet. So there are some key features that are on the, uh, on the Ibex that are not available on the Valco, but I'm gonna take you through this now. This is a slightly lighter helmet coming in at 245 grams. It's got slightly less vents and you can kind of see, I think it kind of gets described as like a semi-aero helmet because it doesn't have that kind of like airflow system over the helmet, 14 vents in the helmet rather than 18, um, <clears throat> but still very well designed and uh, obviously it is reflected in the price in terms of how much this one costs compared to the Ibex. So the things that you do get with this is obviously you get that snap fit once again. Let me show you that. So snap fit and that adjustment, that kind of up and down adjustment. So you can make sure that that fits on the bottom of your head. There we go, that's the best way to do it. And again, you can adjust the snap fit there. So again, there's I think there's like five or six adjustment points you can, you can readjust that on in there. So that can fit very nicely. This is not the Ionic button, um, the Ionic system that they use to for the padding, but it obviously does have padding in the helmet and it doesn't have the slid system in there. It's not the same, but there is a small bit of padding at the bottom. And also it's not, uh, it doesn't actually have the carbon reinforced front end. That's proprietary to the Ibex 3. But all in all, for a lightweight helmet that can be used for gravel, road, mountain bike, it does kind of do a very good job. And you can see in terms of design, exactly how it looks. <clears throat> this again is also available in seven different colors. The Ibex is available in seven different colors. Uh, slightly lighter at 245 grams in a size medium. I think it's a very nice helmet. And that's pretty much the rundown for this one. Uh, they do have these like little reflective straps or little reflective things, little reflective reflectors on the strap, which again are meant to kind of help you be seen. And I believe that there is some reflective material in the back of the helmet for both of them. So these are the two models, the two new models for 2024. Uh, I think the Ibex 3.0 is definitely going to be my go-to helmet for the summer. I think that looks really nice. Um, go and check it out on the website in terms of pricing. I will tag down below or I'll, I'll put in the description the Saddleback website where they are readily available. Again guys I will also point out that you can get some really good deals on the Ibex 2.0 um, and the Valco, uh, the original Valco rather than the, uh, rather than the 2.0. So go and check out the, the deals and then go and have a look at the new helmets as well. I will, the one thing I did forget to say is that again, the Valco has the sunglass holders, so it's designed again to take a sunglass. So that's one of the key features that HJC has caught up with when it comes to the cycle world, is how important it is to be able to fit in a pair of sunglasses into the helmet. The Valco does not have the rubber tabs that hopefully keep your sunglasses a bit more snug. That's saved again for their premium model, the Ibex 3.0. So that's pretty much the rundown on the uh, HJC new models that they have coming out in 2024. Let me know if you think or what you think. Let me know if you have an HJC helmet, guys. Go and check out some of the deals. Go and have a look at their new models. Again, let me know what you think. This will be my helmet for the summer. See you guys soon.